where's Keith at? You're laying in the snow. You got your little web out here. Oh, now you don't want to play at all because you're on camera. Kida. Uh, this is about all the snow we got so far, guys. Now, either this year or next year, that wooden fence is coming down. And uh, our property goes all the way over. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to make a chain link fence. We're going to go all the way over, maybe another 50 feet. And then the other side, the same thing. So she'll have like a little dog park. Okay, now this side here. This is the side I'm going to do this year, guys. This is going to go over, that, that's, that'll go over about another 10 feet. That's where our property line is 10 feet over. I made this fence here short like this because that's all the money I had 25 years ago when I put that up. So that wooden fence is coming down. We're going to go 10 feet over, put a gate there. Keita, you got to take it in, honey. Those, those toys aren't cheap. They're not cheap at all. Maybe I'll keep this, and this will be chain link. That's what we're going to have to do. So we'll make a nice little dog park for her. Hey guys, we're making progress here in the kitchen. I made that last night. That is going to get tiled. You know, basically what this is, this is uh, one inch of cement board, with a, th with a thin set coating on top of it. That's where it's prepped for the tile. That way there we'll have, we can get a couple bar chairs or a couple bistro chairs and we'll have an eat-in kitchen finally. The butcher block, I'm gonna refinish. We're gonna sand this down and refinish it. And as you see, we're, we got our cement board on the face. And down there, we're putting shelves. Shelves will go there, there, that way, all that stuff there will go on the shelves. And uh, this, this is a tile here. This is plank tile. This is going to go down in this pattern. I call it, it's a running bond pattern. Some will call it a brick pattern. We're going to have this on the face. Then this will overlap. That way there, the top of this where the face of this tile will be level with this one. These are six inches by 24. Then for the backsplash, we're going to put one tile going all the way around. So when you look at this, the tile, this is going to all get the same thing. The inside of this, the underneath will get that stuff. Oh, let me lower that a little bit. Hold on, I gotta add some water to that. So this is my dog's uh, lunch right here. So like I said, this is all getting that that tile there. We're gonna do this, the front, and this whole one side here. So when you look at this, this will all have that tile. There will be one going continuously. It'll go here. And it'll go there. And this will also get that plank tile. The floor, the same thing. I got enough to do this floor here. This all has to come up. And my living room floor also is Pergo. That Pergo is going to come up. 
and uh, then once we pull this up we'll get this uh, the cement board we'll screw it down and the same thing in the living room and this will all get this 6 by 24 plank tile this guy right here then these cabinets we have to repaint the cabinets and replace the door handles guys it took me a long time man, to, get to, to, to get this house like it is <clears throat> I've been living here since 1982 that kitchen in order to get the kitchen what what started it with the kitchen was we had electrical problems here I had to call an electrician and we had to get our basement and our kitchen rewired so in order for him to rewire it I had to gut my kitchen so that kind of forced my hand to remodel the kitchen I took all the cabinets out pulled I took the drywall off the walls and they rewired the kitchen the doorway, <clears throat> the doorway was 29 inches wide. I made the doorway 36 inches wide. There was a window on the door wall. I eliminated the window because I wanted the hood to be 40 inches wide so I can get like a, a 38 or a 40 inch commercial stove, which I'm going to get. So, you know, there was, there was no exhaust hood. I made the stove enclosure 40 inches wide. The fridge was on the other side. I moved the fridge on the door side. The countertop that was on the side where the stove is, I eliminated that countertop. And I discarded all the base cabinets. I threw them out. Because I want to go with a cabinetless bottom kitchen. I'm going to just have shelves instead of cabinets. I have a pantry against the one wall and upper cabinets. <clears throat> and uh, the country the, the country style farm sink, I put that in. And I built a new countertop out of 2x4s and um, plywood. And now is the final step to tile everything. But what I, you know, what I want to tell you guys is that these things have to be done in small steps unless you're wealthy, which I'm not. The, the, the way you get them done is a little at a time. Same thing with the bike. You, you, same thing when you're fixing up a car. Unless if you're wealthy, the only other way you can do it is in small steps. Now, you guys want to see... <clears throat> the close-up of the wheels. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. Uh, thought put some lights on in here, and uh, I'm gonna also sh show you the uh, the battery the battery maintainer I got. Like a like a moron, I didn't show you. I told you there's a picture of it, but you know I didn't think of actually showing you guys it. So let me get that right now. Okay, now these come with a heck of a long cord. You could attach this to one of those little uh, a quick clip you have if you have these attached to you know like a a quick maintainer uh, like a uh, a quick disconnect on your battery. I don't like those. I have one laying around here somewhere, but they also come with uh, two battery clips. I mean, I'd say the cord's probably maybe six feet long, and that's what that guy looks like right there. This has uh, an AGM, a lithium, and a regular battery, a sealed lead acid battery setting. And then you you touch the mode button, and that'll recycle it, or that'll not recycle. That'll cycle it to the mode you want. When it's charging, the center light here will turn orange, and when it's charged, it'll turn green. This is a trickle charge maintain this is a battery trickle charge maintainer it's like I told you guys in the last video you have to find a trickle charger that's compatible with AGM batteries see I didn't know that you know the the, the Sears diehard charger I got it's not not really the AGM setting is is not really compatible with that and I, I paid like 90 bucks for that where this was like uh, I think twenty five dollars, 
and this does the trick. So I'm kind of happy because, you know, my battery's good. Thank God. It's probably good for a couple more years. So, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the trickle, this is your trickle charge. It's called the NOCO Genius One. So far, I recommend these. This motorcycle is basically done except for the oil change, the engine oil change. Everything else is done. Now it's like when I when I polish these wheels, guys, I'll do it with the aluminum polish. They're they're they take time to polish. I'll put it up on the floor lift. <coughs> You know, we'll go in there, we'll get these little faces here, and uh, they could become pretty goddamn shiny, man. That's it, and everything's aluminum. This is aluminum. The one hub on the other side is aluminum. These are aluminum here. This is chrome molly steel, but the bottom parts of your forks are aluminum. These guards here are aluminum. You know, this is aluminum here. There's a lot of aluminum on these bikes. Now when I got this, there was a lot of scratches on these wheels. See, our tires are still new. Tires are still good. These are aluminum but they're cast aluminum that's why the chrome will flake on this and the chrome also flakes on these because these also are cast aluminum that's why they see the chrome flaking on it the chrome will flake on these you know it's like uh, this is aluminum that's aluminum speedometer housing is aluminum the um, the handsets are all aluminum. This is all aluminum here, guys. These all got to be taken care of because you know, aluminum will fade, man. If you don't, if you're not up on it, it'll fade big time. So yeah, that's the only thing we have to do now, to this guys, is we have to change the the, uh, the engine oil filter down there. We'll get another one of those K and N's and uh, change the oil. You know, this is this is all aluminum, guys. This is aluminum. This pulley's aluminum. Back wheel's aluminum too, guys. I think the back wheels. Let's see if I can get a shot of this over here. The back wheels like fifteen hundred bucks. The front wheel is about eight, nine hundred dollars, if you can find them. Man, my paint's jumping, boy. I did a damn good job on that paint, guys. So I don't know. We're, you know, if I keep the bike, we're gonna put a mural on here. I want to put my, I want to put my Max on here, man, in kind of like an Alaskan setting. <clears throat> Maybe the same thing on the back, same thing on the front fender. I'll figure something out. So, uh, yeah. Take a look at that front fender again. I still can't believe how nice of a job I did, guys, on that. What's sad? What's sad, man, is you should see the potholes around here right now. As it stands right now, I won't be taking this bike out a lot until they fix these roads around here. That's how bad the roads are. I mean, there is potholes. Man, the roads around here right now are highly dangerous for a motorcycle. There is holes on almost every road you go on. You know, and what I'm afraid of is you hit a hole, you'll go out of control and you'll dump the bike. So, you know, I'm not in a hurry. W once the winter's over with, I'm not going to be in a hurry to take this out. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm telling you guys right now. That's how messed up it is here. 
it's this this area man is really messed up big time big time messed up so uh you know and then i i have a lot of stuff i got to do here i have to finish that kitchen uh i gotta i gotta at least fence in the one side for my dog and then my double car my double car garage i have to make a partition there because i have two two wooden barn doors and I have to make a partition there. I got to put a window in, a door, and a garage door, and that has to be closed in before next winter. So I got a lot. I got a lot of projects to do. So take it easy.